So I went on a date. And I've been on... So we're going to talk about dating. Okay, so I've been going on some dates. Uh, and they just stress me out. They just stress me out. Like, I literally declared myself in a relationship on Facebook yesterday. Like, in a relationship with myself. Like, I literally had to comment, like, in a relationship with myself. Because even when it says in a relationship, it does with who are you in a relationship with. And I said with myself because, duh. And this one girl, like, liked it. You know who you are, bitch. The second that I wrote oh, in a relationship with myself, she, like, unliked my comment. And I'm like, hmm, I know who you are. I just don't get it. Like, this, it's just hypocrisy. It's like high school all over again. Not interested. I'm cleaning up my Facebook too. I highly recommend each and every one of you do the same thing. Go through like a Facebook purge. Okay, like FBP, Facebook purge. And it just cleanse, cleanse from people that just don't serve you anymore. You know, if you don't like seeing posts from people, if you're not connecting with certain people, just get rid of it. I needed to get rid of it. So I'm going to. Not the whole app itself, not the whole platform, you know, but just people. Do you know what I mean? And like unfollow and hide, it doesn't do any justice because why do I need, why? Why? Because maybe later, like, no. If you don't serve me now, you're not going to serve me later because I'm not going to be living in that vibration of I got to hold on to you because maybe you might do something for me later in life. No, because there are people who do that and I'm not one of them, but I just know that there are people that do that. I went out with this guy um, recently and I like really had to second guess myself and I was like, okay, if this is what I have to date in this pool, uh, no. I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, just becoming like celibate with myself. But not celibate because it's just boring. Everybody needs to play with themselves, you know, and embrace their root chakra. But I just feel like I don't need to look for people anymore. Like, I'm really, 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 really considering removing Tinder from... Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete Scruff right now. And you guys are going to be here my witness that I am doing this once and for all. And even by deleting this, it's not like I can't download it again, right? But that's not my point here. I'm not going to be deleting it again because I'm not downloading it again. Okay, as you are watching now, I am deleting Husband Finder. I'm deleting Scruff. No, go away. Go away. I don't want to see you. No. No. It's like it won't let me. It won't let me. Okay, there we go. Deleting Scruff. Now, Tinder's gonna be really hard for me to delete, but we're gonna delete this together. And um, the reason why this is really hard for me to delete is because I saw Todrick Hall on here. I swiped right. Um, that really, like, hot choreographer that's on Instagram, Mark something. I think his name is Mark, yeah. He liked this choreography for Gaga. He was on here, I swiped right too. There's a lot of really cool, influential people on here. But, like, again, I swiped right, and you haven't swiped right on me. Like, there, there you are right there. So we're deleting Tinder. Like, I'm just tired of like picking people who don't pick me. So anyway, I went on a date with this one guy and I don't mind going Dutch. I don't mind going out with friends, but like you kept my money and you paid with your credit card. Like, don't do that. Yeah. And like just other things like from just, a, we were better on text message and uh, granted our texts were very um cheeky and kind of um sexual in nature but of course it's uh i'm gay okay and like i'm a very hypersexual just in my being anyway and i own it but whatever and you know it just coming out of like a bad dating experience nonetheless because i compromised with the last guy but nonetheless whatever so i was moving forward with this guy but then when we were talking in like real life it was like from the phone to like real life there was no you know, difference in persona. Like it was still, it was still talking about like sex. It was so upsetting. And like, of course it was followed by like the snort and you know, I, just, I was like really expecting um, like overstimulation, you know what I mean? Because like he studied the English language and like I'm an intellectual. I consider myself not like a snobby, arrogant intellectual, but I consider myself intelligent and well-read and I love being very eloquent in my verbiage and what I'm trying to communicate. And I didn't get any like, you know, mind gasms out of this guy. Like I didn't get any like sexy word plays. I was like, really? This, this is all you're talking about? You're talking about glory holes and you're talking about 
you know, your STDs. Like, this is a great way to start a great date. Like, hello! I mean, you know, I'm definitely not gonna be going out with you ever again, you know? And I think I give, like, this really, like, a lame excuse, like, well, you just have to be nice to everyone because you never know, you might be in France one day by yourself and it might be raining and you bump into that one person that you went on a date with in France and instead of being alone, like, First of all, if I don't want to go out with you again, it turns out even if I, if I run into you in Paris, I probably won't want to bump into you in Paris. <laughs> but like, my logic didn't make sense. And I just felt very disrespected in that sense. Like, I wanted to really meet this person on a human level, like a one-on-one. -on -one. It was like, I get you probably weren't vibing with me either. So the fact is that instead of just telling me, this is probably not going to work, you made yourself as unattractive as you possibly could. Um, just to ensure that I'm probably not going to want to um, engage in your activities again, um, which is totally fine. Um, no harm, no foul. I mean, I'm not putting your name out there. I'm not telling the world about you because it's not necessary. Live your life, have a beautiful life. God be with you. I just think we're on two different paths. You know, I just, I just think we're on two different levels, really. We're in two different paths. I'm not like talking Bethany and Kelly Kalor and Ben Simone. We're like, you're here and I'm here. Like, that's not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not trying to be a Kelly Kaloran. That's not my issue. That's totally not my goal here. But the point is, is like, is self respect. Like, am I gonna really wanna be with. No. Like, I shouldn't wanna have to say, here, do you need a tissue? Like, can I move on from this topic? I'm like getting grossed out already. Like, at least I'm like not on crying mode right now, because I was earlier. But it's like, real feels, hello, you have to feel it. If you don't feel it, then what are you feeling, right? You have to feel. Ugh, I don't wanna feel it. And I'll see you soon.